Hey, what's going on, family? Joanne here from the Caribbean Women's Society. This episode, I'll be speaking with Danielle from the Caribbean Canadian Parents United and from CWS Organizations. Danielle is representing the island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Some prefer online dating, others not so much. Danielle happens to fall right in between where she's never tried online dating. However, she's now considering the potential due to COVID-19's fierce arrival. Let's hear more from Danielle on how she plans to navigate this new territory. I'm really interested in hearing what your story is about or like rather. And if you've had any experiences online or even in person, like what does dating during COVID-19 look like for you? Ooh, girl. Are you? I can ask you. <laughs> I <can't. laughs> you know, like, to be honest, like to be really like straight up, my dating life is like on mute right now. Okay. And, okay. And, inter- and interestingly enough, because I I've been toying with the idea of trying Bumble. Which is that? Oh app yes, there. girl. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I know a, f- a few success stories, a few per- like success stories from people I know. And okay, um, that's and- really good to hear because my per- personally, I wouldn't say it was uh, all that great, but I did mm-hmm. make some network. So yeah, but yes, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it took it took them a, a good while to like really get through they've had the app for a couple years now at least and oh, okay um, got it you know yeah. you, ki- you, you gotta kiss a few frogs take it off these <laughs> folks, take you know take a break okay I feel like going back on now see what's out there you know like you should try it Danielle you should try it and I'm like I don't know just like just before COVID I was like yeah I don't know and then now I'm kind of right. like oh well, maybe that that's looking like a like an option now because who's getting out to do things now? Right. Like my right. my romantic idea of meeting the person at the you know the grocery store or the library or something is like no that's that's <laughs> it's almost hard bad, right? <laughs> yeah, and I'm I'll be honest, I'm so disappointed about that because I really was holding true to at least. Like, not to say that I wouldn't try the online dating, but I was still holding out a lot of hope for the organic kind of meet, build and, you know, develop a yes. relationship that way. So, yeah, I've been I, I've my dating life has been pretty quiet, but um, right. I, my concern so- is because I, I will I think I, I, I am I'm really leaning toward the towards the bumble. And okay. my biggest concern with that would be. Um, who you're meeting, who they're interacting with, and what is their risk for COVID, right? Okay, because, okay. Because you can still meet up with people. It's just, you you know, you have to socially distance and all of that. And while that's well and good, but, like, what are people's intentions now are my questions. Right. You know, more, right. so, more so on top of, you know, the regular um safety precautions as a single mother too it's like mm-mm, I don't even want to bring anybody there's right. a lot of people I know personally that aren't that are not visiting much less a new person I just yeah. met online so right right and you know what your concerns are valid um here's the thing though which I find very interesting with Bumble is mm-hmm. that um like late lately they've been developing the app a lot more to be more suitable for this particular you know occasion mm-hmm. like this particular um situation right so in other words mm-hmm. when I actually went on I went on for like about a week or so um mm-hmm. the app was only um designed in a way where you could do like just like what's it called um me- like direct messages right? right um now you could actually do video calls through the app oh. right oh yeah so that makes it a lot more better just because you don't necessarily have like feel the obligation to um what's it called to actually like uh exchange your number or you know give out mm. your personal information per se right, right. like you actually could just use this platform to solely just yeah like have interactions mm. with you know just people 
like you know about yeah. 100 kilometer radius from you or whatever and right. yeah just keep it on the platform and then you know just get creative and do some online dating oh, that <laughs> Where, is like, cool. you know, like like literally yeah. online date <laughs> exactly exactly yeah. exactly so you know you have like the so don't get me wrong like yes video call for some might be a little bit intimidating right because like mm -hmm. you know you're trying to look your best and like you're, you know yes. what I mean like you're just to, um put out like and there's people that are just not comfortable like looking at themselves like on the video like you know all that type of mm -hmm. stuff right but um, mm -hmm. I mean if we're gonna think about you know again the social distancing measures and trying to place ourselves like in the most safe you know environment right then right. I think it would be I think the way Bumble is designing their platform is actually pretty convenient you know what I mean yeah yeah no it is and it, and yeah. it helps so, if you if you are interacting with someone who is you know not so um not so stuck on the video aspect of it, you know, taking yeah. into consideration that not everything in your background is going to be perfect. Not everything on your face is going to be perfect. Maybe I have a little mat right. in your eye, like something. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, it's like, it's almost, it's almost as intimidating as meeting them in person. Like, exactly, exactly, you know? exactly. Yeah. So at this point, when do you, kind of envision yourself going on Bumble? Um, I'm aiming for like real summertime, like June, July, okay. which is just around the corner. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I feel like that, I feel like that would be a decent time. If not, maybe in the fall, you know, when everybody's okay. more like inside and, you know, you don't have to feel as much pressure to be out and about. When the weather is, is nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. aside from, right. I mean, keeping in consideration the times we're in, but yeah. Yeah, no, totally understand. So if, so once, let's say, once you do start doing this online dating, right? How mm. much time, like how much investment will you put into this? Um, I, I'll more likely keep it very casual. Maybe right. one, two times a week, go on and see you know, what's, what's out there and then just choose based on the interaction text wise or messaging wise, who, who I'd like to talk to. And I think, and I think for me too, it, at this point, because I still have that idea of meeting someone in person and liking them and, right. and all of that, I feel like it, I feel like using the online dating thing would really chime and get to know people and make friends, nothing, nothing serious. Unless, okay. you know, the tides turn and I meet my husband online. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know, right. I mean, right. anything can happen, but, you know, I'm not, Absolutely. I'm not, to be honest, not taking it too serious because we don't even know what's going to happen on our day to day life at this point in time. And I'm not right. seeing anybody that would, I could potentially, potentially think is someone I could take seriously. So, right. Yeah, understood. Now you mentioned both of your friends, or uh, I guess you know success stories. I should say about the mm -hmm. Bumble app. Um, what uh, what have been the success stories? Like, how has that gone? If you don't um, mind sharing. Uh yeah, no, um, pretty good. You know, some yeah. some people was it during COVID? Like, during, was it during this era, or like was it previously that uh, you know some they started and then. Some before yeah, and ahead. some during, yeah. Some before and some during. Okay. Yeah, a good few of okay. my friends have, have um, been able to make those connections. And and organically so, where it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I like okay. this person. And, you know, we started messaging. And then we moved to phone calls. And then it was like, you want to, let's meet up. And then meet up, but, of course, social distance and see how it goes. And from there, you know, things just blossomed. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, really man. nice. I like yeah. that. Like, out of the stories um, that you've heard, uh, mm -hmm. what would you say? Like, cause, you know, usually when I talk to anybody that's done online dating, like, it sounds like mm -hmm. 
uh, in terms of like the conversation flow and stuff. Sometimes it may be a little bit robotic, right? <laughs> so sometimes it yeah. kind of feels like you're going through like the same thing over and over again. What would you yeah. say? Um, what would you say have been like you know things that probably you know got the conversation going or anything that stood out like with the success mm-hmm. stories that you've heard? Like, you know, in terms of, like, conversation starters or, like, what the conversation flow has been like? Um, I would more say so a commonality between the two is what keeps things fresh. So the more that they have in common is the more they'll have to talk about. Biggest thing would have been that keeps things flowing well is knowing and understanding each other's schedules. So... You know, if I know That's you have to work one. this time, yeah, you know, if I know yeah. you have to be at work for this time to this time, then I can expect a phone call or a message after this or this time. But if you're not being consistent and I have to run you down, then swipe left next because the, right. there's no there's no point in doing this if I'm if I have to continue to chase you to find you. Sensual, like right. understanding each other's schedules and setting things up where it's like, okay, like. I know Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm going to talk to this person after six o'clock and Mondays and Wednesdays, it'll be like three o'clock or something like that, where you get, you get, you get to have a good schedule. And then once you develop a good schedule, then it's easy to have kind of have things to talk about. Okay. I know what you were doing yesterday or, you know, how was work or, you know, how are your kids if they have kids and how are the, uh, how are those things going and, and planning ideas or just shooting the breeze you know right exactly once you find something yeah, that you really more. have in common yeah once you find things that you really have in common it makes things a bit easier to to keep flowing with conversation agreed 100 percent. now with bumble what's interesting about bumble and it's funny that you mentioned bumble because like i said like i just tried out bumble myself right so like uh, <laughs> last i think last month I did actually. Mm -hmm. So basically, like I said, I spent a a week on there. But what I found interesting about Bumble is that um, as like the app works in a way where it's the the lady that would have to like initiate the conversation. Yes. So um, for me personally, I found it kind of difficult because I was finding myself um, kind of like almost beating myself up to like think about something Mm -hmm. you know interesting to say right to talk about (laughs) exactly so you know there's always like those icebreakers right and so with bumble they make like these uh icebreaker suggestions so you know i would Mm -hmm. use a couple of them here and there but then Mm -hmm. i almost feel like okay maybe this is too cheesy like you know like (laughs) you know you're just (laughs) overthinking the whole thing right like okay how can come off authentic on an online um on a, like on an online platform right but I think mm. that's really like you just kind of have to go with the flow and not even think about it yeah. too, too much but yeah. I think in reality like for me I guess I was having a difficult time with also like being the first one to do the approach um oh, how do you find right. out like are you, are you, yeah like are you comfortable like I mean are you were you aware of that and are you kind of like the type that's you know um mm. comfortable with like doing the first approach the and first stuff like approach that? yeah not not usually like even in person I'm not usually the one to um do the approach, approach or, yeah. Yeah, yeah but that to be honest that's what what um in drew me to bumble is the fact that I can be the one to reach out first and right. only if and and only to the ones that I want. That man can't reply back and say anything negative or derogative. So it reduces right. the it reduces the rejection. Right. The force right. of rejection as a I've never used Tinder before, but or plenty of fish, but I know those ones are more interactive back and forth between the two. So right. you, you know, you run more of a risk of somebody like ghosting you or just being really disrespectful. And right. <clears throat> I like that Bumble allows it that you don't, you don't run that risk so high. Right. Um, but I don't mind it online because I guess, okay. I guess like with anything, you know, you could kind of hide behind text and, you know, profile picture if you want. 
And then it gives you the freedom to control the interaction that you have with that person. Like if you lose interest, right. you can easily say, okay, well, talk to you never. And that's it. Right. <laughs> and they can't right. come back and say, hey, dude, you're not, you know, you're not messaging me. You're not this, you're not that. It's like, you know, if I, I get to choose how and to what level and to what degree. So that's what I really yeah, like about that. But in person, no. I have this thing. It's it's right. kind of like like with the whole like woman proposing to the men piece right where it's right. so kind of it's new although women approaching men is not new but it's it's more of a new age so to speak idea and right. I'm s- sort of old-fashioned in the sense that I don't want I don't want to be rejected by the man at the first approach <laughs> that's just right and I want to know that he has the interest in me like that whole chase thing, I believe in that. Right, chase right. Me for okay. a little while, show me right, your interest. So it it you know, it's, yeah. it's strange online, but on it's like if you do the reach out, if they respond and they continue to respond, then it's kind of like the chase begins from there. Okay, okay, <laughs> I, guess. I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Now here's the intro, like I and I, mm-hmm. you know what I hear a lot of like similarities with that comment like typically women want to be um pursued right um but Mm -hmm. with that being said yeah there's like a I guess almost like a tide that's changing right where the woman will um Mm -hmm. will like how can I say this um the woman may not necessarily pursue per se but like in a sense will kind of put herself in a position where it's like you know I'm saying hey what's up mm-hmm. but like now it's your turn yeah. to act on it like you know what I'm saying like yeah <laughs> yeah so like for example <laughs> I I also personally am pretty old school and traditional so I would mm-hmm. probably like not probably I, I do prefer that you know the guy like pursues me but I think mm-hmm. for me um, you know, I think it's it's about kind of like changing a little bit, like maybe the way I used to kind of think about like the, the guy pursuing me. So like if I were to see something that I'm interested in, how can I put myself in a position where I don't necessarily have to like, you know what I mean? Say, hey, what's up? Like, you know, I'm trying to talk to you, but more so like, you know, kind of do it in a more strategic, smart way. But again, put the like, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like put the the cards on on the playing field here and mm-hmm. you know if you are quick enough to get what I'm trying to say then you'll make the next move do you know what I mean so it's yes, like exactly. you're not necessarily pursuing him but you're still going after what you're trying to get to but like doing it in a smart way do you know what I mean so mm-hmm. I think that's a an interesting like and again I've heard this like from like you know relationship coaches or even like guys in general mm-hmm. guys are like yeah like girls could talk to us too like you know we have always a heart short, <laughs> the short end of the stick and blah 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 things are hard for us too whatever whatever right but I yeah. always kind of thought to myself like okay maybe there's an opportunity to like you know strategically place yourself you know what I mean without just saying yeah. hey look can I get your number like I, I don't want to be that forward <laughs> at all <laughs> yeah yeah so <laughs> Well, I know, I know someone who's um. I mean, there's, but I. Know. Hello, yep, I'm here. Are you there? Yep. Okay, okay, I can hear you. Oh, now. Okay, yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah he said I the think... thing that really um made him want to pursue her more was because she approached him first. And that, and this was years ago. Oh, yeah, this was years ago. But he said, he said because it's usually the guy who pursues the girl. He thought that was like a very strong quality for her. Like, you know, she knows what she wants, kind of thing. So she's willing to right, put herself out right. there for it. So I thought I was like, oh, that's interesting. Right. Yeah, I guess. Uh, again, I guess different strokes for different folks, right? Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, I guess it does show. Like I guess the level of confidence yeah. and you know assertion I guess you could say yeah. so um, yeah no that's really cool um, would you consider mm-hmm. while being on Bumble being on other dating platforms as well or would you just stick with one? Whew, I think I would just stick with one 
only because <laughs> <laughs> I love that hot sign. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm just getting used to the idea of online dating. And it's just becoming right. more comfortable to me, the concept of it. So I, I was actually really thinking about it today. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I will at least download the app. Let me just download the app. Let's start there. Right. Because <laughs> <I>, I've <laughs> gone through Google Play. I've looked at it. I've looked at it. I've read the reviews. I just, you know, I'm peeking. I'm peeking. So I'm like, well, I should probably just download the app. And then when I'm ready, I'll create the profile. And then, you know, just take it step by step. Because, you exactly. know, everything is changing. And I I mean, I had plans for this year, as we all did. And, well, right. it's so different now. So, you know, you have to really go with the flow and uh, make things work. You got to go with you. the flow. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. I agree with that a hundred percent. Now, if I had to kind of wrap this conversation up, Mm -hmm. uh, I guess my last for you would be, what would be your ideal online? Like, so what would that look like Mm -hmm. for you in your mind? Like if you could kind of like, you know, picture Uh it and (laughs) envision it and Oh, what would that look like? Oh boy, online date. Oh, actually, another thing. Uh-huh. Uh, actually, before I go, uh-huh. what? How important is it for you to, um, you know, date as um, the same? I guess cultural heritage. So being Caribbean Canadian as well. Mm. Um, like, how important is that to you? Um, and why? Okay, so. Um, Caribbean, preferably, um, mm-hmm. but Black, definitely preferably, because, um, right. just, I mean, nothing, nothing against, um, any interracial relationship, just, it's more comfortable for me, and I know we kind of, sure. you know, we don't, there's certain, there's certain things we don't necessarily need to beat around so much, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it just makes it the, it just makes it a little bit easier in terms of that commonality um, Caribbean would be sure. preferred um, because then yeah. of course like you know when I say I'm cooking ackee and saltfish you're not asking me mm, never ever had that before <laughs> no oh this, you want ackee and saltfish I'm making enough come and get yours kind of thing right, right? Um, yeah though that that's that's important to me and too because I'm a mom it would I feel like it would make things a bit easier in terms of transitioning with with my child the way she is she's she's very about her blackness and her Caribbeanness, so it would just right. fit better into you know what we have going here okay mm. okay understood for sure now what would your online date look like so when the ideal so one. when you say online date you mean like like a video date like a zoom date Kind of like exactly a like a video date. Okay, okay. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um. Huh. Okay. I'm just gonna go with with it, even though it sounds cheesy. But ideal would be both of us in a nice dimly lit room with candles and incense, nice little soft jazz music playing mm-hmm. in the back, and we find different games to play, like twenty questions or um would you rather or two truths and a lie like fun things like that yeah Yeah, I feel like that would be I like yeah I feel like that would be really nice and then maybe even like if he's if he's active and he doesn't mind doing yoga we could do yoga together you know oh power to that something like that something active we can do together that That would be nice yeah Um, Oh, I love that. That is amazing. <laughs> Such great ideas. Um, so with that being said, what island are you representing, Danielle? St. Vincent and the Grenadines. All right, my girl, because we have to put that out there. You know, it's all about the Vincentian yes. love. So <laughs> we got to put that energy out there. But no, you know what? Honestly, I wish you all the positive energy um, with when it comes to your quest for love, girl. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? We're all out here. 
um, you know, mm-hmm. trying to find that um, the ideal one, mm-hmm. the ideal soul, right? Or, you know, <laughs> ideal partner. <laughs> and you know what? However, that is presented to us, you yeah. know, with the divine powers that be. Uh, will allow that to happen, uh, you know, during the divine timing, yeah. right? But with that being said, I put all of that, um, and I, I want to say I'm putting all of that great energy and all that love out there for you, because I do know that uh, that perfect one will come your way. Thank for sure. you. Thank you. Thank so, you. So absolutely wishing you so much love, girl. And um, thank you again for taking the time to speak with me this yeah. evening. Thank you for listening to the podcast series Dating During COVID-19. If you haven't already checked out episode one with Angela, go ahead and do so. Caribbean Heritage Month is coming up in October and tons of ideas and initiatives are being planned as we speak. It's not too late to join the task force. Check out www.ourchm.com for more info on ways you can get involved in preserving our culture.